this is my diesel heater installation. It's in my shed, and uh, I've got one in here, and also one in the wife's craft cabin. This has got the little fuel gauge on the top that I did, nice and simple. There's another video on my channel to show you how to do that if you can't get to it to fill it up easily. And this has been chugging away now for I think it's about 20 minutes. And I'm going to try and do a heat recovery on the exhaust. I was really getting needled about this because I'm looking at all that heat going to waste and I thought there could be some way that you could do this. So this is just a very, very crude lash up but it just shows that you could do something, however I think you would need to tune the actual settings with the, with, uh, the heat exchanger on. I'll show you what I've done just for fun. But anyway, have a look and you'll see what I mean. But it could go further, obviously. Had the reheater running for just over an hour now, and this is the lash up that I've done. Um, I don't know if you could see it through the gap there, but the exhaust is coming out there, so it's a very, very short length there before the exhaust uh, appears out the back. So there's a 90 degree bend at the bottom, and if we go outside the door, you'll see the lash up that I've done as a heat recovery system. So this is where the exhaust comes out of the shed, and what I've done is I've used a, a hanging pole from out of an old wardrobe, extended that, and I'm using a small radiator to just see if things would work. Now it's a total bodge up, there's no seals, um, that's just poked in there, so there's a gap all the way round, and I've got an elbow onto there, and then after that I've got the radiator, which isn't the right angle at all, but you can see it's not a very large one if you compare it with my hand, it's just one of the smallest ones that you can get, and I've got the heat coming in here, and the exhaust is coming out of here. That's a very, very damp day, and I have got a little bit of water bubbling away there, which I suspect is something to do with the excess um, uh, moisture in the air. There's nothing in the radiator, um, so obviously that would be an issue. Now, I'm using, they recommend a maximum of 270 degree bends. So, in other words, you could have, what, uh, uh, 390s, 490s, that's about it, and two meters of tube. Now, obviously, I've got a meter there, which isn't very helpful, and I've got all this lot in here. But what I've done is, is that I've got the inlet over this side, and I've got the outlet down the bottom here. Not ideal, but I didn't want to bend any tubes. But I've got all these ways that the air can go. So all I can say is it's working. There's a possibility of doing this. I would suspect that if you use a smooth bore pipe, like the one that I've got here, which is the, the coat hanging rail, um, it could be worth some experimentation. It really could. Um, the only issue that I can see is that obviously you've got steam. Can you see the steam? Just a slight amount coming out of the bottom, which is a result possibly of the combustion, because it's a very, 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 very humid morning here. Anyway, let's have a go at the temperatures. Right, got a standard temperature gun here. Nothing fantastic, I'm just hoping that you can you can see it all. And what we'll do is we'll take a heater reading of the pipe. Now, as I say, it's not sealed here, so please don't think it is. Not sealed at all. I better take it on the insulation tape there. And we're showing about 100 and, well, I don't know, what's it coming up at? Let's say it's about maximum 160 at its highest level. By the time we get down the other end here, obviously it's not going to be anywhere near that. See if I can do it so that we don't get too much reflection. There we go. Oh, we still got we still got 160 odd there. So we know that we've got that going into the radiator. Just a standard single panel radiator, that's all, nothing fabulous. And let's have a look at what we got on the front. So, same thing, try and get the reflections out, here we go, so in the first section we're down to 65, 66, if I move it over to here, 170, so the path is definitely down here I would think, there we go, out of the way Gizmo, you're in the way, out of the way baby. That's it. I'm trying to do this for you. 
with an inquisitive dog. So it's 50 odd down here, 63. So you can see that the, the temperature is decreasing as it goes down. Interesting. So the hot air is coming in. I'll use the laser pointer. It's coming into this channel here and it's got to make its way over to the other side. So it's getting there on all these. So let's have a look and see what we've got. If I have a look, let's see if we can see. 60 odd. Head down about halfway. Down to 46. Down to the bottom. And we're on about 44. And on the exit channel, we're on 44 as well. Right, now this is the worrying factor. As you can see down here, I've got water bubbling away. It's quite hot, but it's not as hot, obviously, as, as the original exhaust. But there's water coming out of there. I would suspect that that's um, from the combustion process. Now that's an issue, because obviously you've got to have an exhaust on that, um, taking that outside. And the water build up in the radiator, I think, would be a problem. So this method you couldn't use it would be a waste of time so I bought the radiator for nothing but I had to do something because it was just driving me mad right let's have a look and see what the outlet temperature is see if I can get it uh, let's have a look see if we can get it oh there we go well about 24 degrees so it's not a bad heat recovery is it if we're, if we're nice and we call it 25, 25, call it 25, and then up here we've got, coming into it, we've got it at, uh, get it, say 130, well that's 100 C that we're actually recovering through this. That's not bad is it? That's not bad at all. And I can assure you that it's hot, um, I don't want to touch it. The whole panel is very hot, not so bad down the bottom. I can keep my hand on it there, but I can't keep my hand on it up here, it's hot. So, there's definitely a possibility to do heat recovery on this if you want to. But I would recommend smooth exhaust. Can't use a radiator for the simple reason that um, you're going to get water in it. So the heat recovery system would have to be external to the smooth pipe but definitely um, something to play with so I'll leave it for others to play I've had enough <laughs> all the best right we'll see how this one works first of all before anybody starts having a go it must be clear that I've done this as a lash up it's just been purely inquisitive really to find out if some heat could be recovered from the exhaust system I chose the radiator because it was the easiest thing that I could think of but obviously it cannot be used because obviously trying to use something like that internal with exhaust gases going through it a no-no definite no-no so nobody go there I just wanted to see what would happen if I did it um, if I would get the diesel heater go out um, so that all I ended up was with white smoke or whatever but I didn't so it was interesting because there are some things that came out of this which means that it is worthwhile to consider further development the only way that I can see this being useful is if you had two tubes one inside the other you could then have a water system on a small pump and possibly pump it round but obviously there are limitations to how you could do this because obviously you've got to consider um, the leaks and also exhaust leaks which of course is the most important thing so doing it with a radiator is a total no-no so I'd like to emphasize that before somebody has a go but all I wanted to do was to satisfy myself really that you could do something with it that it wouldn't be something that would be useless to pursue so I'm hoping that I'm sowing a few seeds for other people because for something like this it's a bit of experimentation but it's a bit of fun more than anything else and somebody could come up with something I'm sure 
and also something that's not too big. As long as it's safe with the exhaust, then I don't think there is an issue. But I leave that to you. But I must emphasize again, it's a no-no putting a radiator within a place that you're habitating, whether it's a shed, whether it's a, a home, whether it's a van, I don't care what it is, it's a no-no. This is purely an experiment to see if you could recover heat from the exhaust. So I hope that's clear and uh, please don't reply saying this can't be done, that can't be done because this is purely an experiment. That's all it was, nothing else. It was just to satisfy my own curiosity and also to plant the seeds for other people with more knowledge to possibly have a go and see what they could find out. All the best. See ya.